kind of blues and hillbilly music, and I hope you enjoy it. Traditional American folk music. Except for the songs written about my ex-wives. from West Virginia, The Black Dog Blues by Bayless Rose, recorded way back in 1927. If you really like that song, it's on my new compact disc, and I have some right there. You can buy one for 25,000 lira. They won't believe back home that I'm making millions. Nobody thought I'd ever amount to much. Play a song by my old friend, his name was Pink Anderson. Pink Anderson, old black man lived in South Carolina. Made two records in 1928. He wished he could be here tonight, but he's dead. Just want to tell you about a man named Boone. His home was down here in Tennessee. Sometimes I know. 
Lido. I was doing a show in Lido down in Switzerland and somebody was translating and when I said, whoop, they didn't know what to do. It was pretty funny. You had to be there to understand me. You're doing real good, though. He was a traveling man. Ooh, he certainly was a traveling man. He was the most traveling man in that land. Traveled everywhere. He was known for miles around. But he didn't get caught and he didn't get until the police shot him. You know, the police went and hired themselves an automobile on the purpose to chase old Boone. They chased him from 6 o'clock in the morning till half past 7 the next afternoon. The Popeye man run so fast, he never stayed in the road. But when the freight train passed, didn't matter how fast, he'd always get on board. He was a traveling man. Some people know English and they still can't understand me. It's like when I go home, I was born in the north and I live in the south. And when I go to New York, my mother understands not a word I say. <laughs> this is, I play a slower song. It might be easier. This is called, uh, what is it called? It's called, uh, The Talks All Over Town. Quit me. The talks all over town. 
ticket. Daddy, I'm going to tell the ride. Who had that bought my ticket? Translated. I'd sit there and everybody would laugh and then I'd do the next one. It's a very strange night. I'd do a song, let me think of a song with a good story here. A long way from home. Lui canta una canzone adesso molto lontano da casa. A legendary blues singer named Big Bill Brunzi recorded this song he wrote a poem for his loved one. It was a woman he referred to as his long, tall mama. She was seven feet tall and nine inches. The same song? Yeah. E anche un canzone de un donne de più de due mette, quasi due mette e mezzo, era il suo amante. It was a, a big woman. Yeah, big woman. Un grande donne. 1935 was the origin of this song. 1935. And tell them I have CDs for sale for 25,000 lira while we have translations. Bui hai CD per vendere per 25,000 lira. I got a 
1935, a great year for blues music. Uh, the man who taught me to play the guitar, the Reverend Gary Davis, was a preacher, and he mostly sang Christian songs because that's the deal. But he used to be a blues singer. Un altro canzone del 1936, lui è imparato come suonare ed è un prete, ma prima che era prete era un cantante. Right. This is a song called uh, Rag Mama Rag. It would be good to translate this. My favorite verse is Run and get you one gal, run and get you two. No, run and get you one gal, run and get I got me a wife and a sweetheart too. I hope my wife don't want me when my sweetheart do. Could, could, does that translate? Walk these minutes. Run and get you one gal, better get you two. One for your buddy and one for you. I got a sweetheart on wife too. Oh, my wife don't want me when my sweetheart do. I said, Rag Mama. Ooh, Rag Mama. Rag Mama. Baby, Rag Rag. One for the money and two for the show. Three and three and three. Go, cat, go. Come on, baby. Let's go right and do it again. 
Song, the blues song written about the last time the King of England had the blues. Un canzone dell'ultima volta che re d'Inghilterra aveva il blues. It was 1936. King Edward was involved with Mrs. Simpson, a divorced woman from America. E lei aveva un amante che era un divorziato dello Stato Unito. Now back home in Florida, we always thought if you were the king, that you, you could do what you want, but this was not so. The powers above the king told the king he must give up Mrs. Simpson or give up the crown. Il re deve smettere di vedere questo signore, poi non è re più. King Edward was given the choice and he took the crown, he put it on a coffee table and he walked out the door with Mrs. Simpson to live happily ever after. E deciso rimanere con la signorina. This was a incredible scandal in England. Era un grande scandalo in Inghilterra. The newsboys were shouting the headlines of the newspaper they, in America. They said, King abdicates throne for love of Mrs. Simpson. Il giornale diceva che lei ha lasciato il governo per un signorina. The old blues singer Blind Willie Mitchell was singing with a, of the blind men used to sing with a cup on their guitar for money. And he, and he heard the newsboys shout the headline and he was so impressed he composed this song and he called it Baby It Must Be Love. E poi un vecchio cantante del blues ha sentito questo notizio, ha scritto questo canzone. And what's that? the name again? Baby It Must Be Love. <laughs> Baby Deve Essere Amore. Sometimes he called the same song the King Edward Blues. Or boy, King Edward Boots. Tell me, honey, won't you tell me, please? Is my love a hard to please? I'm getting groggy in my knees. Baby, it must be love. A funny feeling losing up my spine. To my head like cereal wine. It makes me think that the world don't mind. Baby, it must be love. I hear them church bells ringing. Please, I'm getting rocky in my knees, baby. 
This next song has no words. Una canzone senza parole. It's a traditional dance tune of South Carolina in 1912. Un canzone da ballare del 1912.
Go tell your auntie and tell your friend Going out the country, don't you want to go? You might make that hit, darling, I may take your sister too
American traditional music was Reverend Gary Davis. Uno de los grandes guitarristas, guitarristas de los Estados Unidos era el padre Gary Davis. Made his first records in 1935, a blind man. El primer long play era Lani. 1930, lui era cerco, buon, cerco. And uh, did not achieve great success. He was a religious singer, mostly singing Christian songs uh, with a tin cup on his guitar to receive money from people on the streets. Non è trovato successo. Lui cantava con un tazzo per ricogliere soldi e cantava più o meno canzoni religiose. And in the 1960s when folk music became popular, l'anni 1960 quando questo tipo di musica è diventato popolare. Uh, many great artists recorded the songs they heard the old preachers sing on the streets. I grandi cantanti di quello tempo è iniziato a cantare queste canzoni vecchie. And Reverend Davis finally reaped the benefits and made enough money to build a house for his wife, and he lived for many years. E questo prete finalmente ha trovato successo e soldi e costruito un casa per lui e sua moglie. E campo per molto anni. And from 1962 until his death in 1972, 
Reverend Davis toured the world playing concert halls and folk music and blues festivals. E da quel tempo fino al suo morto nel 1972 lui girava il mondo. A Reverend Davis, of course, was a preacher and mostly sang Christian songs, but I used to talk him into teaching me the old blues songs from his youth. Lui cantava canzoni religiose, però Roy Bookbinder ha eh, chiesto che lui insegni canzoni vecchi blues. I will play one blues song by Reverend Davis and one Christian song by Reverend Davis. E adesso lui suona una canzone blues e una canzone religiose di Reverend Davis. Un canzone religioso che Roy ha cantato con Reverend Davis molte volte.
back. No idea how to say that. In any language. No, in English. That's okay. This, uh, this is a tune called the Traveling Man Blues, and this is one of the stories of my travels. Un canzone de de suo viaggio, Traveling Man Blues. And because this is my last night, and I've had such a good time, I'm having a special sale on my compact discs, <laughs> so I don't have to carry them any further. Come questo è l'ultimo sera qui in Italia e lui ha divertito molto. C'è un sconto su il compact desk. Tonight only. Stasera solo. 20,000 lire. 20 mila lire, così lui non deve portare con lui più. For a compact desk with an autograph. <laughs> If I don't sell them, I'm throwing them in the Mediterranean Sea.
Thank you very much for my last song. First, I say thank you very much for coming to see me. I've enjoyed myself a great deal. And uh, the last song is called, uh, what's it called? Anywhere You Go, I Can Go There Too, another love song for ex-wife. Grazie molto. Lui è trovato molto piacere qui con noi stasera per la sua ultima canzone. È una canzone di amore per l'ultima moglie. Anywhere you go, I can go there too. Ogni posto che tu vai, io posso andare anche. <laughs> 